Hey everyone, my name is Justin from JusticeKid.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create an outline of a shape with a flock of birds in Photoshop. So what I have open is just a photo of some birds or ducks, some type of bird, and first we're going to create a bird brush. So this should be really easy, I'm just going to grab my quick selection tool and since the bird is pretty much dark, I'm going to just select one of them here and go to edit, define, brush preset. So that'll give me my bird brush. And now I can right click and deselect. Next, I'm gonna actually get rid of all these birds in the background because we're gonna create our own flock in the shape of whatever we want. So let's just use the content aware tool in Photoshop and that should effectively get rid of this. So I got my lasso tool out here. I'm just gonna select this small little line of birds and then I'll right click and fill with content aware. So press OK and Photoshop should do a good job removing all of them. If it doesn't do the best job, you can always try doing a few birds at a time. And last case, you could just use the clone stamp tool. And you could also just use the brush on a sky of your own. So now that I've got a clear sky, we're gonna create our shape path. So head over to the custom shape tool and you could pick any shape you want or create your own path. Uh, for me, I'll choose the heart and then make sure you're working on path mode because we don't actually want to create a shape, we're just creating the line. So now I'm going to place my heart at the size that I want in the sky and then on a new layer, so layer, new layer, I'm going to grab my brush tool. Now if we want to play around with the settings before we create the outline. So open up the brush window and as you can see right now it's not going to brush how we want it. So first things first, we're going to turn the spacing up to about 100% or 150% so we can see each bird individually. Next, we're going to turn on scattering and we're going to scatter it about 2 to 300% to give it a little bit more variation. You also want to turn on shape dynamics and make the size jitter about 50% so some birds are smaller and some birds are bigger. Now we're going to set the overall size of the brush to something workable for our image. So in my case, you can see that 38 should stay pretty close to the outline so it doesn't become just a big blob or mess. Now that we have our brush set, we're going to grab a pen tool and right click and stroke the path layer. Now this is random every time, so you could always edit, undo, and try again if you don't like the specific brush that you got. But in my case, I, I'm gonna turn down the brush size a little bit so that it sticks even a little bit more closely to the path. So I'll turn the brush size down to 30 from 38, and then I'll grab my pen tool and I'll do stroke path again. And this time you can see it sticks a lot more closely to the path and resembles a heart a little bit more. If you want, you can even go over the path again with a different size brush. So if I do 15 and right click and stroke, we can get two outlines with a little bit more variation. And then once you're done, you can right click and delete the path and move it around wherever you want. So now I've got my flock of birds in the shape of whatever I want. If you guys did like this tutorial, definitely subscribe to my channel for more videos. If you had any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.